Hi kids. Today's lesson is chapter two, lesson three, and it is called percents and decimals. Uh, once again, Cornell note page back here. You're going to need your comp book or a note page. So make sure you have that. Uh, again, pause it if you can, if you need help keeping up, back it up if you need to. Let's get started. Today's lesson really builds on uh, lessons one and two, and you'll see how that works shortly. Uh, the first thing we're going to practice is writing percents as decimals. The first example we're going to do is 15%. The strategy that we're going to use, and again this ties to lesson one and two, is we are going to, from a percent, we are going to change that into a fraction. And the fraction we will then change into a decimal. So, example number one, fifteen percent. And I'm going to be connecting uh, these with equal signs because they are the same, they are equivalent, same value. So we learned in a previous lesson that percent means out of 100. So 15% as a fraction means 15 out of, out of 100. There's the fraction. We also learned that 15 over 100 is the same thing as 15 divided by 100. And when you type that into your calculator, that's going to change. Anytime you have a fraction, numerator divided by denominator will give you a decimal. So 15 divided by 100, if you type that in your calculator, you are going to get 0 0.15. So 15% as a decimal is 0 0.15. Let's do another one. 2%. 2% percent again always means out of 100 so 2 out of 100 as a fraction and any fraction in the whole world is to change it into a decimal is numerator divided by denominator 2 divided by 100 type that into your calculator and you are going to get 0 0.02. There's lots of patterns in what you see up here, uh, but this strategy is always going to work. So half of your practice today is this, uh, starting with a percent and writing it as a decimal. So I'm going to... Highlight this is half of your problems today. Your strategy is percent, starting with a percent, rewrite it as a fraction, and then divide it into a decimal. So your work today should look like this. Even though a lot of you are going to notice a pattern and be able to do this, uh, in your head or jump from here to here, I want you to practice writing these equivalent forms. So if you have a percent today and you're trying to make it into a decimal, follow this. Your work should look like that right there. That's what I'm going to be looking for. Okay, the next kind of a problem is if you have a decimal, write that as a percent. So the next thing we're going to do is write 
uh, write decimals as write decimals as percents. And this again builds on uh, the first two lessons of chapter two. Here is an example. Zero point three. Okay, our strategy if you are starting with a decimal and making it into a percent is this. We are going to write the decimal. We are going to change the decimal into a fraction. Uh-oh. You know who this is. Hello? Hey, SpongeBob. Oh, this isn't SpongeBob. Oh, hey, Patrick. You borrowed SpongeBob's phone? Okay. What's going on? Patrick has an idea for the next hidden treasure. Okay, what is it, Patrick? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, the notes are super important. You're right. Okay, I'll tell him. Okay, thanks for the idea, Patrick. Okay, say hi to SpongeBob. Okay, bye. Okay, Patrick called with idea for today's hidden treasure. Uh, because our notes are so important, your hidden treasure for the next one is all chapter two notes done and complete. So lesson one, two, and three. Got to have all three pages. Uh, chapter two notes is going to be the next hidden treasure. Um, okay, let's get back to it. Decimals as percents. First, we're going to write the decimal, change it to a fraction, and from there... change it to a percent. All right, let's practice. 0 0.3. Uh, this, when you're going from a decimal to a fraction, remember that it's all about place value. So this is in the tenths place. So to change this into a, a fraction, I would say it 0 and 3 tenths. Three tenths. That I think that was uh, lesson one. Decimal to fraction. What place value is it? Read it. Whatever you're saying out loud is what you write as a fraction. Three tenths. Three tenths. Well, now from fraction to get to percent, we need percent means out of a hundred. Well, this is three out of ten. We need to get so that it's out of 100. So what do I do? This should look familiar. We're going to multiply times 10 because 10 times 10 gives us 100, and 3 times 10 is 30. Now we've got something out of 100. That something is now can now be written as a percent. As soon as you have out of 100, whatever your numerator is, you can change that into a percent. Let's do one more. Okay, 0 0.16. Again, to change this into a fraction, I'm going to say it and use my place value. So 0 and 16, but it's 16 tenths hundredths. So the way I would say this out loud is 0 and 16 hundredths. 16 hundredths. That's what I'm going to write down as my fraction. 16 hundredths. Well, I don't have to do anything to this one. It is now a fraction out of 100. So right away, I can just change that into 
percent. Okay, on this one I had to I had to change the fraction so it was out of 100. This one already came out of 100, so I could go right to 16 hundredths, 16 percent. Half of your practice today is this, write percents as decimals. The other half is this, write decimals as percents. And again, your strategy for that is write the decimal, change it to a fraction, and from there, change the fraction if you need to so that it is out of 100, and then you can rewrite it as a percent. So your work today for decimals to percents should look like this. And again, some of you know some shortcuts. Practice today writing the equivalent uh, forms. Zero, these are all the same. 0 0.3 equals 3 tenths, and that equals 30 hundredths, and that equals 30 percent. So again, your work today should look like this, and like or like this. Read your directions carefully. What are you trying to change uh, to? And that's all for Chapter 2, Lesson 3. I will see you next time.